what the sharing economy does is makes us see that we have more than enough stuff to go around. And what's happening now is that the reason to have a job is not to make the stuff we need. The reason to have a job is to have justification to share in the stuff we already have. But because we don't have enough jobs for the, all the stuff we have, we get rid of stuff. We tear down houses in California because we can't let people live in them for free because they don't have a job. We burn food every week in America because we can't let people have it or the market price on food will go down. So this is, we are reverse engineering our economic reality based on an industrial model that was born in the 12th and 13th century on very different economic conditions. So the sharing economy would actually, would portend the end of extractive corporate capitalism as we know it. Because if we turn out to have more than enough stuff to go around, if we only need people working two or three days a week, if we start closing factories because we don't need as much stuff, that's a big problem for capital. What do we do with all the money? Where do we put it? Where do we invest it? And so that's what we have to unwind. Mm -hmm.